A commercial resupply mission heads to the space station, a key piece of hardware for a future moon mission is on the move, and another spacecraft gets ready to spread its wings in deep space. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On August 1st, a Northrop Grumman Cygnus cargo spacecraft launched to the International Space Station from our Wallops flight facility. The Cygnus, named after late NASA astronaut Laurel Clark, was filled with more than 8,200 pounds of supplies and scientific research for the crew aboard the space station. Teams at United Launch Alliance's Decatur, Alabama facility recently packed up our Space Launch System, or SLS, rocket's interim cryogenic propulsion stage for Artemis III. The flight hardware, sometimes referred to as the ICPS for short, was being prepped for a trip to our Kennedy Space Center for final checkouts. During the Artemis III mission, the ICPS will provide in-space propulsion to send astronauts inside our Orion spacecraft to the moon. Engineers recently attached the solar array wings for our Psyche spacecraft. The arrays were also tested to make sure they deploy correctly and were then restowed in preparation for the spacecraft's journey to a metal-rich asteroid, also named Psyche, that orbits the Sun between Mars and Jupiter. The huge arrays are designed to give the spacecraft the power it needs to operate in the low light of deep space. The mission is targeted for launch this October. Find out more at nasa.gov psyche. Registration is open for the 2023 NASA Space Apps Challenge. The two-day event scheduled for October 7th and 8th is the largest annual global hackathon. It is designed for people around the world to come together and use open data from NASA and other space agencies to solve real-world challenges on Earth and in space. Learn more at spaceappschallenge.org. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.